Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope you feel uplifted after today's video. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and opens the door for more people to join our community. Also, while you're at it, check the description box. We got a lot of great stuff in there. Um, so today we're going to be reading Job chapter 26, and this is Job's ninth speech, a response to Bilidad. Um, but before we get started, I'd like to say a prayer if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community. Thank you for opening the door for people to join our community, for connecting us and strengthening our bond. Thank you for opening our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our minds to your word. Thank you for your wisdom and understanding as we seek to interpret your word. And thank you for the courage to apply it to our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Job chapter 26. Then Job spoke again. How you have helped the powerless, how you have saved the weak, how you have enlightened my stupidity, what wise advice you have offered. Where have you gotten all these wise sayings? Whose spirit speaks through you? The dead tremble, those who live beneath the water, the underworld, is naked in God's presence. The place of destruction is uncovered. God stretches the northern sky over empty space and hangs the earth on nothing. He wraps the rain in his thick clouds and the clouds don't burst with the weight. He covers the space of the moon, shrouding it in, shrouding it with his clouds. He created the horizon when he separated the waters. He set the boundaries between day and night. The foundations of heaven tremble. They shudder at his rebuke. By his power, the sea grew calm. By his skill, he crushed the great sea monster. His spirit made the heavens beautiful, and his power pierced the gliding serpent. There are just, these are just the beginning of all that he does, merely a whisper of his power. Who then can comprehend the thunder of his power? Amen. So what did you think of Job chapter 26? Um, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Let us know how you've been feeling about Job so far, how you feel about chapter 26, or maybe just how God's been working in your life lately or today. Um, or just say hi and let us know that you're a part of the community. Maybe post your favorite emoji. Um, just stay connected with us. Um, so. I'm really loving Job um, chapter 26 because he's really speaking to the power of God and I love just um, delighting in God's miracles. Um, you know, the fact that he created the boundaries of the earth. You know, he's the one that set the horizon. He's the one that... Um, you know brings the stars out and the moon and covers the moon he's the one that holds the rain inside the clouds so they don't collapse and fall um, you know all these wonderful things and I love that he's speaking to them and um, you know in the very first um, verses 1 through 4 he's speaking you know to Bilidad saying how you have helped the powerless how you have saved the weak how you have enlightened my stupidity um, what wise advice you have offered where have you gotten all these wise sayings so that's the key verse that I wanted to point out where have you gotten all these wise sayings whose spirit speaks through you so all this information and this power comes from God and I think he's just trying to rem remind them that all this comes from God as well as his suffering like he's trying to say that the suffering that he's going through is coming from God and that's the only place that he can take his like complaints or his argument too is to God and not to his friends so while his friends are coming with some wise sayings they're saying things that are, are definitely true they're just a little bit off the mark because again Job is blameless so it's not that Job is saying that the things that they are saying are incorrect it's just that they don't apply to him in this situation and he, he knows that and he knows that all the power and the mighty of, of God and I think sometimes when, when you know we're going through stuff and our friends are um, 
you know, kind of poking the bear a little bit, <laughs> um, so to speak. It's sometimes it's hard to um, just take delight in what they're saying, and instead we just want to be like, I know that, um, you know, leave me alone, stop saying that, that doesn't apply to me. Even though some of the things that they're saying may be correct, even if they don't particularly apply to our situation. And it's hard for us to just admit that in the depths of our despair or in the midst of whatever we're going through. Um, so I think it's just important to point out the good qualities of God in the midst of whatever it is that we're going through to just remind ourselves how mighty God is and how he can step in at any moment and change your circumstances or situation um, because he did do all these miraculous things. Um, so I think it's just important for us to keep that in mind when we're going through something. Um, but um, long story short, I like... Um, you know his response to Billadad. What did you think of it? Leave it in the comments below. Let me know how you're feeling about this conversation that Job's been having with his friends, and um, if you've had any similar conversations with your friends. Um, so with that, I hope you stay blessed, stay in God, God's presence, and have a great rest of your day. I love you.